with more than 500 European Tour appearances now under his belt, and after enjoying one of the most consistent spells of his career having turned 40, age appears to be no obstacle for Denmark's Soren Kjeldsen. Third shot. Get up. Skip. Great shot, says his playing partner, and well deserved, don't you think, John? Oh, that was absolutely brilliant. After dropping out of the world's top 300 in 2014, his Irish Open victory in 2015 provided a clear statement of intent from the Dane. I've been on tour for 20 years now, so I try to use what I've learned in the past and, and put it into play now. I think um, I'm probably a little bit more independent when it comes to coaching, for example. So I still see my coach, I still speak to him, whatever, but now I maybe see him twice a year, where before maybe I saw him 10 times a year. So that means like I'm a little bit more in control. I need to feel it instead of a coach trying to give you a feel. I think that's, very, that's been very important. And I think a second thing was that, uh, especially uh, 2014 was a very bad year for me. Uh, and I, I sort of had to uh, sort of reinvent myself a little bit. I, I started working even harder than I'd done before. Uh, and I think the combination with me being a little bit more in control of where my game is going, and then that little bit extra work, I think uh, made me feel really good and feel really strong. We all have, you know, uh, every every chance to to prepare and, and and to play as well as possible. So, you know, it, it's not like one one person's got an advantage uh, more than the other. It's like we've all got the same opportunities, the same possibilities to develop and to to be better. So instead of saying how tough it is and and uh, you know the low points and all that, you know, every week you've got a chance to make something happen and uh, keeps us. Uh, I think it keeps us young and keeps us on our on our toes. After that success at the Irish Open, consistent performances became the Kjeldsen hallmark, missing only three cuts in the whole of 2016. Oh, what a shot from Soren. Oh, nearly another hole than one at the sixth. Wins would remain elusive in 2017, but Kjeldsen's ball striking and putting remained well and truly on point. Kjeldsen with this for Eagle. This is the final part of the day. But it was beating Rory McIlroy at the WGC match play that captured everyone's imagination. What I really learned that day was that no matter what, no matter who you're playing against, no matter if they hit it 350 or whatever, all you can control is what you do. So I don't hit it 350. I don't even hit it, you know, 300. So, but I gotta, I gotta maximize what I've got. And if I go out and I do what I do best, and in this case, you know, shoot six under. No, no, no matter how good you are, if you're going to be the guy that shoots six under, you're going to do really well. Even when you play Rory, you know, Rory has to be, play well to shoot six under, or seven under, or whatever. So but it was, it was, uh, it was obviously really great. You know, Rory's a fantastic guy and an incredible player, and uh, and to be able to do that, and especially I had my boys uh, Emil and Mess on the sidelines of that tournament, so to uh, to share that experience with them was uh, pretty special. When I look back now on the 20 years that I've had on tour, I certainly look on the things that I've won and when I've done well and whatever. But I think, you know, starting out as a 22-year-old, knowing nothing about how to travel, how to play and how to prepare and all these things, to me, in a way, that's the most sort of gratifying thing about the whole thing, that you, you learn and you grow and, you, and you, you, you have the downs and you have the ups and whatever. But the whole thing, even though, you know, when, you, when you're really frustrated and stuff like that, it's, that's part of it as well. So when I look back, it's just, it's been a great ride. And, uh, and uh, obviously the, the, the victories and that are special, but just being, being part of this thing and, and being able to get up every morning, be excited to go and practice and play, it's, uh, it's incredible.